in the last half an hour, their leader, Nick Clegg, said Mr Brown had done the right and responsible thing by agreeing to step down. I therefore intend to ask the Labour Party to set and train the processes needed for its own leadership election. I would hope that it would be completed in time for the new leader to be in post by the time of the Labour Party conference. I will play no part in that contest. I will back no individual candidate. Brown's last throw of the dice, a shock resignation, puts Labour back in the game. This is the ITV News at 6.30 with Alistair Stewart and Mary Nightingale. Events here at Westminster have moved dramatically and decisively this afternoon. So who will now be the next Prime Minister? No deal how the negotiations between the Lib Dems and the Tories seem to falter. Given the urgency of the need to have a resolution to this whole situation, we think it's the right thing, the responsible thing, to now open talks on exactly the same basis as we've been having with the Conservative Party, with the Labour Party. And in other news, 20 days of strikes to cripple BA's schedule right across bank holiday and half term. Good evening. If you're just tuning in, hello from Westminster, where tonight there has been a dramatic twist in the struggle for power. A little over half an hour ago, Gordon Brown announced that he is to resign as leader of the Labour Party.